God gives you dreams. So when you have dreams, a lot of times God is trying to show you something. He's trying to show you something for your good or he's trying to warn you of something. God is never trying to give you a dream that's going to curse you. Every dream is going to either bless you. It's going to give you some type of wisdom or knowledge about a situation you're in that you should be in and should flourish and expand or you should get out of. I'm going to make this real quick. So wifey hit me up. She texted me. She was putting Jewy back to sleep, aka my little one-year-old. And she hit me up. She was like, Check this out. Queen Nigel had a dream. For those of you who don't know, it's what we do all the time. Of course, we're a media outlet, so we have to pay attention to a lot of the stuff that's going on out here in these uh, YouTube and these influencers and celebrities streets, baby. So she said, look, Queen Nigel had a dream. I said, okay, cool. And so I just read it real quick. And when I read it, I went, wow. The first half of that dream was something that me and a few other people were talking about. And they had a vision just like the first paragraph that she put on her Instagram reels. I mean, her on her Instagram story so I was like okay that's what that's when it caught my attention right because I'm not I'm not one to just um make everything make everything out to be spiritual right although I do believe everything starts spiritually I believe that we are spirit beings and uh that we we come from a spirit being and so um I'm sitting there and I read it you know I read it and you know I tell her oh dang you know we was just talking about you know this this vision you know is a vision that somebody else had and the fact that she's having this dream is kind of that's kind of like okay that's that's, that's wild. So Kiara's like, you know, what's, what do you think? You know, what's the interpretation of it? You know? So I say, all right, let me go, let me go check and let me go check and see, you know, check with the, check with heaven, you know? So I, I go and check with heaven. It was a continuation of a vision that God was giving me earlier today. I'm like, wait a minute. So now I'm just like, I'm intrigued now. I'm like, okay, this is, maybe this is very urgent. You know, this, this, this came in threes and uh, this came, you know, this came the way it should have came. You know, it was like confirmation on top of confirmation on top of confirmation so then i was like man you think i should think i should do a video on this she's like yeah do a video do, you know, do, do a video real quick man because i really feel like right now in the season that we are in we need to be spiritually in tune with everything that's going on right now and i know a lot of people may not be uh spiritual a lot of people may not understand those things but i really believe queen niza does um i know that she comes from a background like that you know and i believe that she is a believer so um this is just confirmation of what she was talking about. I don't know if she has an interpretation already or not, but here's the interpretation. And I, of course, I don't believe the interpretation will be different. There's no such thing as different, you know, when it's the same spirit. So her dreams that I had two dreams where my family was taking cover. One was from a natural disaster approaching and the other was hiding from U.S. Marshals or something of that sort. Another dream I had was that I was in a car and I rode past a caution tape site and seen unalived bloody people laying out on the ground. She said this could be spiritual, maybe not. That we have to take cover but physically for maybe we do but more so take cover spiritually is anyone else having these types of dreams now i have not been having these types of dreams but like i said i was around people who had visions of this sort so you know i just went to god hey what's you know what's this interpretation it was real simple <clears throat> she was on to definitely understanding that it was a spiritual situation so i'm gonna give you guys some points so you can understand how to interpret dreams as well so a natural disaster a lot of times in a dream is a spiritual disaster because when you're in when when you're in the dream realm you are more so in the spirit realm so you can access the spirit realm through the dream realm so a lot of times god is god will put someone to sleep if you look at it in the bible god will put someone to sleep and give them a dream god gave pharaoh a dream so it doesn't matter if you're a believer or an unbeliever god gives you dreams so when you have dreams a lot of times god is trying to show you something he's trying to show you something for your good or he's trying to warn you of something god is never trying to give you a dream that's going to curse you every dream is going to either bless you it's going to give you some type of wisdom or knowledge about a situation you're in that you should be in and should flourish and expand or you should get out of right and so what's happening is this natural disaster god is saying i need you and your family to take cover spiritually so that you will withstand and be unhindered from any spiritual disasters that materialize naturally so what does this mean all this means is that there are spiritual attacks that and assignments on people's on people's family currently and that you need to take cover what is the covering the covering is the spirit of god covering is god who is the strong tower you know for all that believe the covering is under his mighty wing so i know queen niger will understand that so god's saying take cover spiritually make sure that you are aligning yourself with god in these times in these days and cover yourself so the u.s marshals is representative of people 
people who are currently around you and you think they're for you, but they're clearly against you. And this is why you're hiding. The U.S. Marshals are representative of they're supposed to be protecting us. So the U.S., there's something that's supposed to be protecting you and you think it's protecting you, but it's really not protecting you. It's actually uh, here to harm you. So there's something around you spiritually that is infecting people around you and it's causing them to feel like the enemy but it's not the enemy we do not wrestle with flesh and blood and us is it's some type of authoritative figure so don't look at things uh like friends and family per se it's not friends and family it's something that has authority over you like a u.s marshal would um the other dream <clears throat> the other dream is a continuation of the first dream so you actually went into two dreams that are actually that go together so this is the after effects of those who did not cover themselves spiritually and that's why you see the people that are unalived they become spiritually unalived they become spiritual and i've been on tiktok too long i, I say that now <laughs> And so what you're seeing is the aftermath of those who did not cover themselves uh, under the strong tower, which is God. So that's why you rode past the caution tape in a car. Once again, you were covered in a car. So this vehicle was the ve was the spirit of God. So after you took cover, you in the, in the spirit of God were moving through the wreckage, the spiritual wreckage. And the vision that God was showing me was that there's just a spiritual darkness rolling over the land. But always remember that the light shines greater and brighter in darkness. And actually, God is in total, art, utter darkness. But yet, because he, he's so bright, it doesn't seem like it's total darkness. So you have to have on. So total darkness does not mean that your light will not shine through it and defeat it every single time. Prophets come out of the land, Bow. stepped into heaven and land, Whoa. X had a heavenly plan, Whoa. they love to watch what I am, just like the mill on the ground, Bow. billion souls right in my Bow. hand, huh. keep a card dust that I fall with the fam, he don't owe me like I already tanned. Couple uh, of angels protecting my bow. Blessings on blessings on blessings. I'm Whoa. Father God, Lord, said forgive him again. Oh. How we heal people but sick with the flesh. Yeah. Grace and the mercy correcting the lens. Whoa. I'm gonna be like yo, where is my pen? I'm so East Coast like yo, order my Tim's. Looks uh. like my steps have been ordered again. Handing out miracles, order a man. Uh. Why they look so free? Let's party with them. Uh. Wow. Looks like my steps have been ordered again. Yeah. Handing out miracles, order a man. Uh. Why they look so free? Let's party with them. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I uh, know this roll like the back of my hand woo, Whipping up drugs, no pots and no pants Lift up your hands woo, if you feel what I'm saying uh, Yeah, 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 I know this roll hey, like the back of my hand hey, Whipping up drugs, uh, no pots and no pants yeah, Lift up your hands if you feel whoa, what I'm saying 